kind of a shell of our former selves, and so Iris has kind of had to step up and, and fill in some of the gaps. Um, you know, at the end of season three, Barry said to Iris, keep moving, keep running, keep going. And she took that very seriously. And so she's dealing with, I think, her sadness and her depression of Barry not being there um, by focusing on work and work only. Um, and so she's a very different Iris than we've seen in the past. She's a little hardened, a little more like um, a general. Um, yeah, she's, she's going to protect the city and she's going to do what she's got to do. And it's a way of her like not focusing on Barry not being there. How is it playing that? You know what I mean? That sort of version. It's of great. I think it's nice to see Iris have agency and have a reason to be in Star Labs and to really have a contribution to the team. Um, for me, it's it's so fun to play. Uh, yeah. How does she share the leadership with Barry? Like he gets back and she has to share it now. So like, does she give it more all to him, or does she still want to like be in the leading? Role? I think this season will continue to see her kind of be um, a leader for Team Flash. Um, I don't know. I mean, we haven't gotten there yet, so I don't know what the plans are for um, season like? four. I mean, I'd like her to continue to have a lot of agency at Star Labs. I think the producers have said that that's their plan. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. we'll see. I think Barry will be more focused, like on the ground, doing work on the ground, and Iris will be more focused, like more of like a coach, coach of a team um, in Star Labs. Does that mean that she's put like her earlier career behind her to focus on this, or is there still a struggle between the two? I think it's safe to say for now that the reporter side of Iris is kind of on the back burner. She's still a reporter, um, but where we focus our show is her work at Star Labs. Where do you want to see her go? I mean, you know, the character. Where would you like to see this character go? Um, it's hard to say because I've always wanted to see her um, as a reporter. Mm -hmm. It's kind of iconically what she's known for. Uh, I don't think we've ever been able to figure out a way to work that into our show and our formula on the show. Not to say that it won't be done, maybe at the end of the season or into next season. Um, but I think, however it looks, whether she's at Picture News or wherever, I've just always wanted to see Iris have the agency be um, a big uh, contributor, contributor to the team. And we're finally getting that, so I, I'm happy with where she's headed. Is it important to you that even when other characters get their own powers and get suits and superhero names, that she be the grounded human part of the team? Yeah. Yes. Um, also, those suits are hot. <laughs> They're really hot. They're often shooting at 3 a.m. in the snow while I'm on a studio lot, sipping coffee um, <laughs> and heels, you know. So you're not really envious of that I'm aspect. not very like, no. envious. I mean, I would love to do it for maybe an episode or two. I think it would be really cool to see Iris as a villain. I love that. Or superhero. Um, but I think it's important to have humans on the show. Otherwise, it becomes a superhero team up like Legends. And that's just a, we've already done that. So it's important to have the Joes and the Irises to kind of keep the human element to this very superhuman um, show. Have you 